Hello students, you are welcome back again to Dr. OJ's tutorial. In this video, we shall be talking about what we call cast rule. Cast rule. The rule that we learned when we were in secondary school about uh, the signs of uh, trigonometric functions. The signs of trigonometric functions. So we call it cast rule. C here stands for cosine, A stands for hull, A stands for sine, T stands for trigonometry. Now for us to do that, we shall need uh, what? A quadrat, a quadrat table. Now, this is first quadrat, this is second quadrat, because we, we are considering the geometry of an anti-clockwise movement. This is third quadrat, and this is fourth uh, quadrat. So between this first quadrat, we have zero degree and 90 degree. Between second quadrat, we have 90 degree and 180 degree. Between uh, third quadrat, we have what? 180 degree and 270 degree. And between the third and the, uh, the, in the fourth quadrat, we have, uh, you know, 270 to 360 degrees. You can see that that is a sum of angles at the point. You can see that each quadrat has uh, a, 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 a sum value of 90 degrees. Okay? So that is uh, about uh, the positions of uh, the quadrat uh, in relation to their angles. So now, in this first quadrat, we have A meaning that all of them are positive. All trigonometric ratios there are positive. Uh, we have S, sine is the only positive trigonometry there. We have T in the third quadrat, and we have C cosine in the fourth quadrat. Now, what does all this mean? Fine. fine. Now, let's look at the first quadrat first. It means that any angle, uh, any of them that, are, that falls in between this particular uh, quadrat will be positive, any of them. So that is, let's say that in the first quadrat we have uh, zero degree less than equals to theta, theta less than equals to ninety degree. Okay, that is the first quadrat as you can as you can virtually as you can virtually see. Now, it means that if you have uh, anything like maybe sine whatever, once that sign is uh, between zero and ninety, it will be positive. Whether sign 40, sign 60, sign anything, cause so to be positive. So in that case, in that case, sine theta is positive, cos theta is positive, tan theta is positive. That's why we see all of them are positive. That's why we have A there. Now for the second quadrant, you can see the second quadrant starts from 90 to 180. That's 90 degree less than equals to theta. That's the range of theta is between 90 and 180. Okay. Now, here, sine theta will be what? Sine theta will be, sine theta will be, sine 180 degree minus theta. Here, that's sine theta. And it will be positive. So it will be positive. That will be positive. Okay. But because, why is it positive? Because only sine that is there. In the second quarter, sine is the owner of the house there. Is the occupant. Okay. That's why it's having what? Positive sine. So cos theta there is a stranger. This will be what? Minus cos 180 degree minus theta. Because it's not the owner there. Tan theta is going to be minus as well than 180 degree minus theta. So please take note of this because we are going to illustrate this with examples later. So these are the illustrations for, they are the statements of facts for angles of first and second quarter. Now let's look at uh, the third and the fourth one. Now, for the third one, it's ranging from what? 180 to 270. 180 degree less than equals to theta less than equals to 270 degree. So in that case, sine theta will be negative. Now that's minus sine 180 degree plus theta. Yes. Yes. If I if I draw if I draw and uh, if I produce an angle from here and it gets air, by the time it touches air, and I call that angle, let me just say that um, suppose I have it, the whole of this now is um, let's say it's uh, 230, 230 degree, the whole of this. So if I want to find it with respect to sine, it will be what? What I just need to do here is I'm adding. Yeah, what what have I added to y it? That's 50. So it means it means from here to here is 50. So it means minus sine. So that means sine 230 degrees. Same as minus sine 180 plus uh, 50. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
Or better still, I can even say that sine, you know, the whole of the sine 230 degree is minus sine 180 degree plus 50. Okay, yes, that is that is how to, uh, to express that. Okay, don't make mistake. Don't say uh, subtract 270 from the whole of 230. No, you are adding. That is it. The increments in that, uh, what makes it to be more than the uh, angle on the straight line is what you are getting there. Okay? All right. So now, for the next one, cos theta. Cos theta, we equal it the minus cos 180 degree plus 30. Yes, that is it, minus cos. And um, uh, we have the, th the third one, tan theta is going to be what? My, uh, plus because this one is the donor here is target. We have tan 180 degree plus theta. Okay, I hope you understand. So invariably, invariably, I can change this one to consider that this is what sine 180 degree plus theta is minus sine theta. You can have this as minus sine theta. Yes, you, you multiply both sides by minus sine. This one can be written as a cos 180 degree plus theta is equals to minus cos theta. Why this one will be tan 180 degree plus theta is equals to what? Tan theta. So it's still the same thing. Okay. But by the time we get to the examples, your eyes will be opened uh, wider and you understand what I'm talking about. So that's uh, third quadrant. Now for the fourth quadrant. You know, it's between 270 and 360 degree. That is 270 degree less than equals to theta, that less than equals to 360 degree. Here, start starting with sine theta. Obviously, sine theta will be what? Now, you know, we have 270 here. 270 is the end for, for starting point here. The end point is uh, 360. So that would be sine theta would be what? Sine 360 degree minus 270 degree. Or minus sine theta. Let's say 360 minus uh, theta. Sorry. 360 minus theta. So whatever theta we are given. Suppose our theta is 300 now. Suppose our theta, but it's going to be negative. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Suppose our theta is, um, suppose we have to find sine 300 degree. So you don't have to bother yourself. What you just need to do, like this calculation now, you know, your theta here is 300. So you now see sine 300 degree because of minus sine 360 degree minus 300. So that would be minus sine 30 degree. No, minus sine 60 degree. Sorry. So when you subtract 300 from 360, you have minus. So minus sine 60 degree now, you should know without being told is minus. Uh, you know, sine 60 degree is root 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2, if you use, uh, if, you, if you express it in fraction. Or, or in decimal, you have it's going to be it's going to be zero point eight six six zero. So it's going to be negative. That's how we get that. That's how we got that. Okay. Now the cos cosine cos theta will be you know cos cosine is the occupant of the fourth quadrant. That will be cos three sixty degree minus theta. And why the third one tangent is going to be negative minus tan three sixty degree. Minus theta. So that is a uh, that's about uh, for uh, trigonometric ratios in the fourth uh, quadrant. So with this, I believe you have been, you know, reminded of what you learned in the secondary school. And if you have not learned this before, this is an opportunity for you to learn the cast rule in general. Stay blessed. Don't forget, click on the notification bell or button so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be duly notified. Thank you.